What's going on everybody? It's Saturday and I haven't done a flint and steel fire in a while so I figured I'd bring one out to you. And because, oh there it is. It matches the color of my table. I lost it. I made this big old bird's nest to use with that uh, uh, friction fire and since it didn't work, the bow drill has just been sitting around so let's use it. Now, Got my uh, steel from uh, Mike Reed Outdoors. Go check him out, please. Got me a nice little piece of flint. And I got some char cloth here. Now, something that I've been meaning to do a video on, and I just want to give a quick little thing on, char cloth will go bad eventually, if you didn't know that. It loses its effectiveness. I don't know the science behind it. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense to me. But it does. It does. Uh, I think it has something to do with maybe moisture or whatever getting into it, but it doesn't accept a spark as good once it's old uh, as opposed to when it's brand new. I keep mine in this plastic container, but I keep it out here in the garage and you know, it's not insulated. So there's humidity and whatnot, but so just make sure that you're paying attention on it. Otherwise, let's see if we can spark this thing up. Don't go stingy on your uh, char cloth, as Dominic always says. There we go. Okay. I got all the pieces caught up there. Do that. Got my little uh, burner stove that I made uh, based off James over at uh, Waypoint Survival. Please check him out too. Woo! And we have fire. So, you know, like I said, I hadn't done a uh, flint and steel in a while, and I had this sitting around, so I figured I would. Uh, I would light it up, still on fire on that side. Not really so much on that side. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy it. Make sure that you are practicing more ways than just one to uh, start a fire because you never know what you're going to have. Talk to you guys here later.